guys, so today I am doing a haul video and I have been shopping here and there and it's accumulated to be kind of a lot of things. And we all love haul videos and if you don't, maybe you need to go to Aztec because you just clicked on a video that said haul. They should give me a medal for shopping. Like an award, like a ribbon something because I got a real talent for it. Let's hop on into it. That's my hopping move. It's kind of like the wave. They see me rolling. They hate it. So let's first start off with Brandy Melville because that's the only thing I actually bought while I was in New York City, which is very sad and very pathetic considering there are Brandy Melvilles everywhere in California. So I don't know why I felt the need to go to the one in Soho. So first thing I got is this little half top and this was $9. I'm calling this a half top because it's not even a crop top. It's like literally like half of a top. So I'd wear this with like high-waisted shorts or high-waisted skirt and it would show a little bit of your midriff but not in like a really trashy way. And I think it's basic and really like just something that I needed and I'd always been like, oh, I wish I had this, especially with like my black high-waisted pants. I think that would look really cute. Then another little crop style thing I got and it says, bitch don't kill my vibe. <laughs> Which I thought was really funny and this is like a leather jacket and high-waisted shorts. It's just badass I just think it's so funny and really cute and it's sassy and I'm a sassy girl Speaking of sassy, I obviously had to get this shirt because everyone has to get this shirt if you have ever seen the movie that changed lives Mean Girls you can't sit with that. <laughs> and I was standing next to an older woman who was looking at this and she was like so personally offended by this shirt. And I had to like interject. Like she was by herself and I felt like I had to say something. So I was like, oh, excuse me, Mitz. Like I heard you like getting upset over that shirt. I want to let you know it's a quote from a movie. And she was like, oh, I feel so much better. My daughter wants me to buy her clothes from here. And it's like, no, no, no. And I was like, it's a movie. Don't you worry. I really do love, um, these kind of bro tanks, especially in the summertime over bikinis, and you just can't beat it. And now I really want to get that beanie that says fetch on it, but I can't find it anywhere. But the next thing I got is this skirt, and I feel like I'm the last person in the world to own this Brandy Melville skirt. This was $18, and it's just a little black chiffon, little flouncy, flouncy, flouncy skirt. So this is just like a little flouncy, flouncy, flouncy. And I really like it and it's super cute and this one actually is long enough for me it is a little short because I am tall and the last thing I got is this beanie which is really cute it's like this oatmeal-y tannish color and I love it it's gonna have to replace my gray beanie because my gray beanie went mysteriously missing along with so much of my stuff when I was in New York like like so much of my stuff just like was gone <laughs> So I don't know where any of that ended up and that was when my gray beanie was there. So I'm really sad about that. H&M and I swear I didn't buy that much stuff. The size of this bag does not reflect what I bought. Woo! So I bought two pairs of shorts and these ones I got are so cute. They were ridiculously cheap though. $9.95. Can we talk about this? They're just plain black shorts and then it's got this kind of like rope crisscross down the sides. Which I thought was really cute. They're very, very short shorts. Um, so like, I mean, shorts are short, but they're short, short shorts. They remind me of like Rihanna would wear because they're kind of like badass on the sides. And then I got these, which I actually have owned, I think, every single year since they first started coming out with these. And these are the white shorts from H&M, and they're not the denim-y kind. They feel like more cotton. And these were $12.95. Again, also relatively short white shorts. Then H&M was having an additional 50% off all of their sale items, so I perused and I found this, which is originally $17.95, marked down to $15, and then I got it for 50% off. And it's just like this maroony, like, lace peplum top, which I just thought was really, really cute, and I think it's really cute, and I'll wear it in the fall, too. Probably with, like, a nude tank top or black, depending on what I wear it with. And then the last thing I got from H&M I'm absolutely in love with. It was originally $49.95, then it was marked down to $30, and then I got it for 50% off of that. So I got this for $15, and it is this little jacket. It's so cute, but it doesn't look like Hillary Clinton's jacket. Like, it looks fashionable. No offense, Hillary Clinton, you're a fashionable adult, but not really my fashion icon. It reminds me very, like, um... Blair from Gossip Girl. So it's put together and it's perfect for when I've got like meetings and stuff and I need to look more professional but sometimes even I get sick of blazers and this is just a little cuter especially for 
the springtime, I think this would even be cute with like lace dresses and stuff like that to give it a little more structured polished look. So I picked up two things from Nordstrom's and I'm obsessed with both of these like beyond that, like so, so, so much. So two things I've been looking for forever. I was looking for a kind of more structured, a little bit thicker and heavier um, camo print shirt and I found it and it feels like a very light jacket. Like it would feel like a light denim jacket but it's camo and what I love the most about this is this little bedazzled pocket which I think like represents my style like so well because I do the whole like grungy kind of thing some days but then I also do the glam kind of thing some days and I think it just really like adds that girly flair to something that could really look like I'm about to go to war. Watch yourself. And I really like it. It's not very tailored but I like that in this and this is from the brand LOD and, and this is actually on sale for $36. And the last thing I got I am obsessed with. <sighs> I know. That was the noise you made. I made it too. Just to make you feel better. And these are from the Love and Fire brand. And there's these distressed kind of, not really acid wash, but more a little, more or less acid wash with these big tears and then all of these studs on them. They've got star studs, square studs, the bronze, gold, and silver. And these are just so cute. They're perfect amount of high waisted and they cover my butt. And I love, 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 love them. They were on the pricier side, whereas like my cheap Forever 21 shorts that are high waisted but aren't not really an appropriate length we're like what like $20 these were 44 which is kind of steep but I mean if you're thinking about this an alternative to buying like vintage ones from like Etsy that are like 70 bucks this is really good and I just got this at Nordstrom so definitely see if they have them at your Nordstrom so I picked up quite a lot of stuff from daily look online because their spring stuff is just so cute that I can't like pass it up I am like absolutely absolutely loving it and the first thing I got is this dress which I tried it on and it's a little sh on the shorter side. So I think this would actually be really cute with colored tights. And I used to be really into colored tights in high school. But I think that'd be really cute or high socks or something like that. But I definitely wear a slip under this because it is relatively short. But it's still completely wearable. And it is this lace shift dress. Which I think is so cute. I love shift dresses and dresses in general. So shift dresses are so universally flattering too. And I just think they're so pretty. And this one in particular is just gorgeous. So this next dress I got I haven't tried on yet and I kind of ordered on a whim because I had kept seeing it and it was in my cart and then I take it out of my cart and then I put it back in my cart and I was finally like you know what Megan try it on see if you like it if you don't like it you can always return it but it was just cool to me and it is this kind of sherberty rainbow galaxy dress. The material itself is a little weird it feels kind of silky and the back has a cutout and it ties up in the back I think it's just really fun, especially for spring. It's a little more on the crazier side, but I kind of like that because I'm a little crazy too. This next thing I got, I actually already wore and I really, really like it. And this is always on Daily Looks website. Like anytime I'm like a model's wearing a chiffon tank top, it's like always this one and they have it in like virtually every color. It has this nice detailing. The back is crossed and braided and it's really cute. I just really like it. It's very flattering on it. looks really nice. And what I love about it is it's not too sheer. Like it's double layered with the chiffon because sometimes the chiffon stuff, you're like, this is really pretty, but you can see straight to my boobies. No, not with this. So this next piece I actually featured in an Instagram haul. So definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram because it's a whole slew of fun. Did I mention I post a lot about food? <laughs> I absolutely am addicted to Instagram. So make sure you follow me. It's just at Megan Rosette. I absolutely love this. I've been very into like the crop top half shirts with high waisted things recently. I think it's so 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 cute and it's like perfect for like the warmer months this though is just gorgeous it's got black straps and then has the neon straps in the back and i just think it's so cute this could be really cute with skirt i have actually like a neon coral skirt this color and i have a neon yellow skirt this color which i thought would be perfect i have a black skirt that could work with this but this would also work with high-waisted like black jeans and it's just like really cute the next thing i got also has that limey color into it and this is something that i typically wouldn't expect of myself to buy but i really like it and it is this white and like lime baseball tee casual and it's so soft and i think the color makes it a little more trendy and it's just very it's just a very easy piece to wear that I feel like is just like a staple that I never owned a baseball tee and so I feel like I'll wear it a lot. So the last clothing piece I got are these pants and I have these in black and coral already and they're just high-waisted white pants and I don't know where half of my white pants went. 
I really don't know. I had like four pairs and I can only find one and they're from my awkward uh, freshman 15 phase. Yeah, that exists, that happened. So I needed a new pair of white pants and I thought the high-waisted ones would be really cute because you can wear it with like florally crop tops and a little more like flouncy flouncy things that are really in for spring. And I thought these were really cute. And I already wore these all the time. I love them, they're so comfortable. I wear the black ones like they're going out of style. So that is everything I got from Daily Look. If you guys have never checked out Daily Look before, it's an amazing site. I talk about it all of the time. They have entire full outfits that you can buy on flash sale, but then the products are still there after the flash sale's over, but you can get really good deals, but these clothes in general are so, so cute. And if you're a first time Daily Look user, you can get 20% up using my name. I'll have the coupon right here and link the down bar. It's not an affiliate code. It's just daily look being like Megan Rosette's viewers. You guys are awesome and you can get 20% off. Holler at your girl. Now on to Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret bikinis are my all-time favorite. I think they look the best. They're the most flattering. They last the longest. Those are the ones that I've had through the years that still like last like really really well. And these ones I saw online and then I finally saw them in store and I was like Megan you need to get them. And this first one is just this plain black one that has these little scalloped ruffles on it, which I thought was really cute. So, so yeah, you may notice it's a little smaller. Yeah, boobs got smaller. I don't want to talk about it. Um, and this was $44.50, which is ridiculously insane for this plain little black basic top. But I, f I can't, I don't find any other bathing suit tops that fit as nicely and look as good as Victoria's Secret ones. And then I got the same one in white, but this white one is eyelet. And I think this is so cute and I love it. And this one was $48.50 which is also ridiculous, but we're just gonna glaze right over that. So I got two things from Just Fab, and the first are a pair of shoes. I've already worn them, but I kept the box because they are the Bellagio in a size 10 because I have really big feet. So these are the shoes. They've got a little ankle strap, and they're black, and they're sky high. I just, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. I've never been like, that shoe's sexy, this shoe is freaking sexy. It looks so good on your foot. It just looks so streamlined and sleek and it's perfect for spring because it's like a heeled sandal. It's not like a pump and it's just so cute. They look so much more expensive. I get so many compliments when I wear them and for how tall they are, they really, really aren't hard to walk in and they've got the little ankle strap that really assists that. But I just can't even get over how much I adore these. And the last thing I got from Just Fab is a purse. And I thought this was really, really cute because it looks a lot more expensive. I think all the Just Fab handbags look very like designer-esque. And this is the Midtown in white with gold detailing. It's got a crossbody strap too. And it's just really cute, especially for springtime. I love white bags. And I think this is just gonna be like absolutely perfect. So a haul would not be complete if I didn't go to Bath and Body Works, right? It's like they're having more of the two for 22 candle sale just to make me buy more. It's a thing. They just need to stop. Please don't stop ever. So I got a candle. Surprise. This is the one in pear and I've been smelling this for a while. I almost like it better than Market Peach. It just smells very juicy. Like it smells like juicy juice. Like remember in Arthur when they'd have the commercials for juicy juice? This is what juicy juice would smell like. Or you could read it saying, the subtly sweet scent of pear becomes even more enticing with blended with fresh spring greens and a touch of vanilla. That's a lie, it smells like juicy juice. And then I only got one other candle. How proud are we? So this is from Bath and Body Works new line. It actually like just got released. It's the Tuscan Herbs. In all honesty, it smells like an herb garden. Like that's what it smells like. It smells kind of like pesto-y basil -y. So I think this is a really nice kitchen scent. It'd be something that you would burn in your kitchen. It's gonna make your apartment or your house or your room smell like you're cooking with like thyme and rosemary and all that stuff. And it's described as an aromatic herbs from the sun-drenched soil of Tuscany inspire this fragrance that blends fresh basil, parsley, and garden greens. Yeah, like actually it smells like basil. And then tell me I'm not crazy for loving this scent. <laughs> Please. So next I got two wallflowers and I got this white one and the blue one. They're matching, except they're different colors. And this one matches my bathroom and this one matches my bedroom. So it's perfect. Wallflowers are the way to go because then it keeps my room smelling good and my bathroom smelling good, but I don't have to constantly be like lighting candles and like peering around corners being like, don't you dare burn down. Don't do this to me. For my bathroom, I got Market Peach, which you guys probably have heard everyone talk about this. Namely, Amarix, Allison, who I honestly think that 
I'm going to get a text one day being like, I went to Vegas and I married my market peach candle. We're very happy together. Please don't judge me. And I want you guys to take a wild guess which one I got for my bedroom to smell like 24 hours a day. Sexy shirtless men. Oh, oh, the real name? Mahogany Teakwood. What, what should it be called? Sexy shirtless men. If you guys want to see my entire talking about how great this smells, because I can't even get into it again because I'm going to start like getting flustered. I'll link my previous haul video, which is another spring haul in case you didn't get enough of this one. And I describe this scent, I just like to say perfectly, not to toot my own horn, Oka. And because there are no men in my life, let's pretend with the scent of man in my bedroom while I snuggle up to my pillow pet and then suddenly find myself waking up in the middle of the night making out with it thinking it was James Franco. That never happened. I'm just, I'm anticipating. So the last two places I went were makeup things. So first I went to MAC because they had a new collection out and it was one I was actually really excited for and that was the something collection. I don't know, but they had the eyeshadows that are the extra dimension eyeshadows and I got two. One is in Smoky Moth and one is in Triple Impact. This first one just seems like a typical like light pink and you move it back and forth and you see a little bit of like blue reflex. It's basically like a duochrome whitish, pinkish, purplish. It's so pretty. It's going to look so freaking gorgeous as an inner corner highlight or even like as a lid color. It's just very, very cool. And then the Smoky Mauve one is just a very pretty, very metallic kind of purpley, pinky mauve color. They are a little more expensive than regular eyeshadows because like, I mean, look at the size. They're freaking huge, but the quality of them is just impeccable. So then I went to Sephora and they had their VIB or Beauty Insider kind of like appreciation thing where you got the coupons off sent to you in the mail and I'm a VIB which just means I spend way too much money at Sephora that's really all it means and so I got 20% off instead of buying everything in sight it's more along lines for me it's like splurging on things that I would never buy full price I bought something that I'm obsessed with and it is a Dior lip gloss and Ingrid talks about Dior lip glosses and how nice they are and I finally decided that I need to try one and this one is in Dolly Pink <sighs> It's beautiful. It just has this gorgeous look on your lips. It doesn't look like your lips are glittery. It just looks like your lips have been like kissed by an angel. And they're so pretty and I absolutely love it. The feeling of them on the lips is amazing. This one was one that I was like, this, this, I need this. And I love it so much. This is gonna be my purse. I'm gonna be wearing this all the freaking time. That is everything I got and oh my bejesus, it's a lot of stuff. I wish I could say that means I won't be shopping for a while, but it's an addiction. And at least it's not crack. Right? Let's let's look this in the positive way. So don't forget to check out Daily Look in the Damba with the coupons. Yeah, yeah, don't you? So make sure to click here if you want to see my last main channel video, which is actually the Draw My Life tag. And then if you want to see my last second channel video, which is a grocery store haul, all about eating clean, eating organic, and eating healthy, definitely make sure to click that right here. And they will also be linked in the down bar. I'm also going to link my haul playlist in the down bar, which has all of my recent haul videos and basically every single haul video I've ever done. If you want to see the first haul I've ever filmed to the most recent haul I've ever filmed, you can check that out because I know people love hauls. So I have an entire playlist full of videos just like this. So make sure to click the down bar if you want to check that out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love haul videos just as much as I do. And I want your haul videos in the video response section. Leave them there for me. And I want you guys to comment in the down bar. What was your favorite thing that I got? Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later.